lecture, we will talk about the clean area and the cell storage area. What we will talk about it in this lecture will be transfer the use of a medical device to clean area, instruments inspection for cleanness and function, packages, material standard, and sterile process monitoring, documentation, and re, uh, recalls, distribution of sterile items, and storage room. After cleaning and disinfection of reusable medical de device in dirty area, the SSE employee in the clean area should receive the reusable medical device and starting to inspect uh, uh, for cleanliness, for functionality and completeness of the instrument before a sterilization process. So if there is any visible soil uh, inspected in the instrument, the Instrument should be returned back to dirty area for cleaning. Again, uh, the reusable medical device received in this area must be dried before back to prevent microbial growth and reduce spot and allow steam to reach the instrument service. Also, reusable medical device can be done by hand dried using a lint free cloth. We should check for cleanliness and functionality of the instrument. So each instrument should be inspected separately. Uh, the instrument part, including box, joint, serration, and curvaces should be critically inspected for cleanliness. Hangs on device such as auditory forceps and clamps should be checked for easy of movement. Also jaws and teeth should be checked for alignment. Ratchet should be checked for security. Multi-part instrument should be assembled to ensure that all parts are complete and working as per IFUs. Any damage uh, or incomplete or malfunctioning device should be reported immediately, immediate, immediately and documented. All screws on joint device must be tight and have not become loose. Also, the joint instrument must be placed in the pouch in an unlocked position to allow the penetration of the sterilant or steam. Devices with ratchet should be closed on the first ratchet only for steam penetration. So the package that should be used in sterilization process must allow the sterilant to reach the contents of the, back, uh, of the backing. Uh, the material must provide a good barrier to all type of microorganism. Also, the back must be able to be opened without contamination, withstand normal handling, resistant to tear, puncture, and proven timber-proof seal. Paper plastic pouch that we use it in SSU. Uh, the paper plastic pouch should be used, filled, and open according to, to the IFUs or uh, an structure for use. Also, the, the seal smoothly without folds, bubbles, or wrinkles. Follow the proper way to seal the pouch by leave one inch space beyond the sealed edges. Do not stick any instrument in the pouch. The size of the pouch must facilitate the size of the instrument. So. Items are not too loose and not too tight in the pouch to prevent any tears. The condition of uh, pouch storage is very important to save the pouch from any damages. So, pouch's shelf life is affected by sterilization and storage condition and time also. Follow the proper packaging sealing and visual inspection method for avoiding any defects. Also, head sealer should be safety tested manually or annually by the biomedical maintenance department. For the packaging label, labeling is so important to uh, tracking the instrument inside the SSUs. So, the packaging should be labeled before sterilization by using label gun. Packaging label should be visible and legible, also consist of non-toxic materials and ink. Written is not allowed on paper side in the pill pouch, so only allowed in the plastic side. Indicate the lot number, sterilization date, and initial of the operator.
loading consideration it's so important to talk about the loading consideration the SSU stuff should be aware of their sterilizer IFU loading consideration first ensure there is sufficient room between isom to allow the circulation of steam do not overload the chamber also the pill pouch organization should be plastic side to paper side concave instrument should be upside down to prevent condensation this slide we will talk about the sterile process monitoring documentation and recalls uh, first we will talk about the cycle parameters visible monitor for the table sterilizer to determine the, whether the correct sterilizer parameters were met so steam sterilization cycle have three parameters we have the time temperature and saturated steam under pressure the temperature should be 134 celsius and the sterilization period between three to five minutes for sensitive instrument the temperature will be 121 celsius and the sterilization time is 15 to 20 minutes SSU stuff should not release a load for use if the physical monitoring res uh, results are failed. Uh, the documentation should be safe for a year as per MOH recommendation. This slide we will talk about the test that we should apply it inside the sterilizer. Uh, the Bowdick test is used to rapidly assess whether a, a steam sterilizer properly remove air from the chamber. So it's important to remove the air from the chamber to complete the sterilization cycle. The test should be done daily and should be run in empty uh, preheated chamber. If the sterilizer done uh, do not pass the Bowdick test, personnel should remove it from service and determine whether it should be rested or serviced or returned to service. The test sheet should be safe for a year as per MOH recommendation. The second test will be biological indicator. Uh, use heat resistant bacteria in the spores, geobillus staphylothermophilus, do to demonstrate whether or not sterilization has been achieved or not. A biological indicator should be used as minimum of once weekly, at least once, once per week. Use incubator to incubate biological indicator whether the microorganism grow or fail to grow, uh, with, with, uh, which means killed by the sterilization process. The biological indicator test veil and uh, biological indicator control veil should be formed the same lot to ensure uh, or the lot number to ensure that the control will read the appropriate time. If positive PI is indicated, a recall process must be followed. The documentation of PI results should be safe for year as per MOH recommendation. The third test we should use it is internal chemical indicator used for back control to determine if uh, the sterilant has penetrated each back and they must be placed in each package. If the chemical indicator do not pass, the content of the package should not be used. We must ensure that the uh, instrument after sterilization is safe to use so before unloading from the sterilizer, sterilizer item should be allowed to cool before handling to avoid wet back. A uh, reusable medical device damage, dust, debris, soil, or moisture wet back should be returned to the dirty area for reprocessing. Extra care should be taken during transportation of sterile instruments. So, make sure to transport in controlled condition. In a closed cart or box with a solid bottom shelf should be used for transportation and where packaging should not be dragged, slide, crushed, bent, or punctured. Storage room of sterile instrument. The room must be controlled under specific environmental monitor. The humidity should not be excessed up to 70% and the temperature should be from 20 to 23 Celsius to maintain the sterility of the packaging. Sterilized package should be used on a rotational base, so process of using this sterile packaging should be first in, first out method.
Also, the consideration that should be taken during storage for the sterile instrument, any evidence of wet package, tears, uh, burn pouch, missing indicator, missing an identification of the sterilization uh, date shown, sterilized package must be returned to the SSU for reprocessing. Cabinet and drawers used for storing, uh, storing the sterile instrument are free from dust and not sticked and arrange. When cleaning the shelf or drawers, all items should be carefully removed from the shelf. Using approved solution, wipe the interior shelf, including the sides and the top. After the shelves base and shelves bottom have been cleaned, with wheels should also be cleaned. Be sure the shelves are completely dry before placing items back on the shelf.